The LA Kings have had to play two game sevens already in these playoffs, and luckily they have Justin Williams, his first ever playoff goal scored in a game seven. He's six and zero in game seven, and he's accumulated 12 points during those six games. And I had an opportunity to sit down with the guy that the LA Kings call Mr. Game Seven yesterday. Justin Williams is a two-time Stanley Cup champion. His playoff success speaks for itself when it matters most in Game 7s. Boy, who unable to clear. Kept in, a shot right on, rebound, scores! Most recent, Game 7, May 15, 2014, against the Anaheim Ducks, and you get it all started on the power play. I mean, the boys have kind of joked around with me quite a bit now because uh, all the Game 7 talk and uh, <laughs> before the room, you know, joking around, calling me Game 7. and. Um, we came back to the bench there and they were all hollering it there too, so um, uh, obviously something you don't really think about, but you just, you know, it happened, it went in the net and I was, I was heading back to the bench, everyone's hooting and hollering and it was fun. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Game 7, another big goal. Um, every goal is big and uh, that got us started to uh, a big Game 7 and ultimately another win. The first goal in Game 7, April 22nd, 2003 against the Leafs, and it's actually your first playoff goal. Take us through it. This was, uh, I believe I was, uh, Claude Lapointe just threw it over to me and I was able to get a stick on it. And uh, That was my first Game 7. I was obviously very excited. Um, every kid is uh, when you're young, especially playing against the Leafs, made an even bigger deal. And I don't need to say much about this one, June 19th, 2006. Yeah, this has uh, um, been brought up in our dressing room quite a few times just because of when Jarrett Stoll was on that team also and, and, and Matt Green were on the team and, and they were on the, the other end of it. And um, now that we've won one together, we kind of have some laughs about it, but we didn't really bring it up until then. But it was, hey, an empty net goal, obviously the biggest empty net goal I ever scored. And, um, you know, obviously kind of sealed the deal for us. Another game seven, May 28, 2013. You actually get two goals in this game. Uh, take us through the second goal. That one was a great pass from Kopi and I was able to put it in um, on Niemi. Every goal is a big goal, regardless of when it happens. And it was uh, just a play from the neutral zone that, that uh, got turned around and I was able to get the, stop the puck at one time or in. Uh, but I really feel in that game, it, it, if it wasn't me, someone else is going to score that goal. You just get a sense, you walk into the LA room and this team believes it doesn't matter how far they're down in a series, if you're up, if it's game five, if it's game seven, that at all costs you guys are going to win. I, I believe what, what we've been through and how we've grown as a team um, has led us to believe that um, no hill is too high to climb. The belief within our dressing room uh, that when your back's against the wall, when it's time to go, when it's us or them. I look around our room and I have the confidence and the faith that we're going to get it done. And I believe the guys look around the room and they look back at me have the same feeling. You look back at the young player you were in 2003 to the player you are now in Game 7s, and what's the difference? Every playoff series molds you into the player that, that, uh, that you become. And I played with a lot of guys who've had a lot of Game 7 success. and. Um, you know, we're able to rise to the challenge and um, that's just kind of the thing I want to pass on to, to everyone else that we're playing and that, that's coming up in our organization. We have a, a lot of young players who um, are going to be real successful in this game and you want to pass along that uh, um, confidence that you can do it.